Dr. Vaughn, as you see, I drank the Centennial Kool-Aid, right? <laughs> yeah. I, got my, I got my Centennial hat off. Go, those on three, those on three. One, two, three, go! You're down? Yeah. Now let's talk about childhood a little bit. And your Pop Warner experience isn't like most guys. Yours is a little bit different. Tell me about it. Uh, me, flag football actually did start off a star. I was good running back, but then pads came, and I went out there first day of pads, got hit, cried. <laughs> went out there, cried. First time I got hit. After that, went straight to center. <laughs> then, straight to center from there. Straight huh? to center. <laughs> and then from there, it's just um, over my years developed getting used to getting hit, and then I developed them mentality to be a better athlete, go out there and hitting people instead of getting hit. <laughs> I kind of worked my way out. I went from center to guard to tackle. <laughs> to tie it in and then finally went out to receiver. That's where I finally learned to make a living there. Oh man. The biggest thing for me and my appreciation for you is academically. 4.17 GPA? Yes, sir. Incredible. How serious are you taking the academics? Obviously pretty serious. Uh, very serious, especially to my parents growing up. It's just, it's always great. First grades get you places. And um, my dad, I say he's very successful. He's a firefighter. I think it makes a good living, especially able to provide enough for me and my sister, my brother, and then some after that, especially my mom too, also kind of growing up in similar situations. I just think he's my biggest inspiration for everything he's done growing up. I just know I want to live my life, even surpass that, live better. I was proud of myself last year. I actually was able to maintain straight A's throughout the whole year. Push it. Okay, very nice, very nice. Of all the routes that, you know, in the passing tree, What's your favorite route? Uh, I'd have to say the curl. The curl? Your footwork, I mean, you're a big guy, right? right. And for your footwork for, for having a size, usually guys your size you know, don't have that kind of footwork. Is there anything special you do to try to, 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 try to create that or create the extra quickness? Uh, definitely had a lot of off-season training with uh, my coach, Billy Nilly. He's a uh, receiver coach at LCC now. And definitely work with him in the breaking in and out of my routes, especially with kind of one-step routes. I really want to work on because I think Getting in and out of routes is probably the best thing you could do as a receiver to get away from the defender. And that's really just what I want to work on. Hey, let's get one more. This time when we do it, let's just make sure that um, when you get to the top of the route, let me see if you could, like, instead of blowing right all the way into the route, gear it down just a tad at the top and try to shorten up the steps and get out of it just a, a tad quicker. Let me see. That, let me okay. see. So when you come here, just boom, boom, try to shorten those, those choppy steps down just one tick and let's try to get out of it quicker but sort of gear it down toward the, you know, once you get about eight yards into the route. Gear it, gear it down, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Okay, so here we have you down at the bottom of the screen, you know, split out, you know, to the right. You know, you walk me through the play, you know, what you're seeing and, um, you know, how you're able to get open here. Uh, here, just a uh, cover two look, basically, corners looking inside shade. Uh, I think he really should be outside of me, but uh, just going through the play, I know, the, it was a vertical attack to me. I'm going to take off, try to do, try to push his uh, blind spot, but there, the ball was a little under thrown, but being a receiver, you have to go up and go get the ball at his highest point. There, I definitely, I think I could have did a better job of going and getting it at his highest point, but just coming down with the ball, definitely a plus for me. After you catch the ball, there's a physical, aggressive presence <laughs> that happens after you catch the football. You know, what's your mindset after the catch? In my mindset, my dad is always, if you ever hear him in the stands, he's a pretty loud guy. <laughs> <laughs> he always says, move those chains, and pretty much that's kind of like his motto. And like in my mind, like that's what I have to do. I have to catch the ball, I got to move the chains. And if I, no one's on me after I move the chains, just keep going, go score. Going into your senior year, right. CIF MVP, I yeah. can guarantee you what you're going <laughs> to get this year. <laughs> There's going to be a man standing right here almost every single play. Now you got to tell me how you're going to deal with man coverage. DBs are known to have fast hands, especially get their hands on you first. So I think just a natural reaction off the ball, right? Like, so you shoot your hands, I come down just with a, just a little swipe automatically, just to get off, just dipping my shoulder down immediately to make sure he can't get no more hands on me after that and just, just run by as fast as I can. Let's see a full speed one so I can just see just a release, just five yards. Okay, so like, just give me a cadence. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it's a swipe to get the arm down. Right. But you have to also dip the shoulder too. Exactly. Okay. You know, there's a lot of guys that when they catch, you know, 100 balls like you catch, they want to take some plays off. <laughs> What's the mentality if you take a play off, you're blocking? Take the play off, you're going to get your butt chewed out by Coach Logan or Coach Bermudez, and you're going to come out. But me, definitely, I know I want to stay in the game as long as possible. Right there, I kind of saw the quarterback in my peripheral, and uh, with the 
corner trying to get off me. I know I can't hold him. I can't try to take him there. I got to keep running with him. So there are some opportunities, especially with the guy behind him. I just kind of extended my arm to push him into that guy, and it just ended up working out how I wanted and just went down for a touchdown. You know, and then the extra satisfaction, you know, going down with your teammate and watching him score. I know that's oh, special, yeah. right? Definitely one of the best feelings to run down with your teammate watching him score. The thing is, is last year I was running the route. Right. This year I've graduated. You graduated to what? To defensive back. Oh. oh. Okay. You run the route. I play defense. <laughs> Wait. Wait. You guys are laughing Wait. already? Wait. 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 You run the route, and here's the thing. You just have to do it in eight seconds or less. I need you to slow down the cadence because I like to disguise the coverage. Hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go. First quarter, you know I can't make that many cuts. I wasn't physical enough with the left hand, right? Plus, my ankles weren't loose. 